Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we're having a closer look at creating pop-ups and setting some specific pop-up conditions. While creating pop-up templates with the help of Jet Pop-up plugin for Elementor. So in this video, we're going to have a look at how you set the pop-up conditions while displaying related products in your pop-up. It's going to be just a use case, but you can easily apply this technique and these rules for setting pop-up conditions for pretty much anything you want to do with your pop-up templates. And also in the second half of this video, I'm going to show you how you can display some dynamic content in your pop-up templates. First off, make sure that you have Jet Pop-up plugin and Jet Wool Builder plugin installed and activated. Then what we're going to need to do is to create an archive template where we're going to put our related products. So this is going to be the template that's going to display our related products later in the pop-up. So how do we do it? We need to go to WooCommerce, Jet Woo Templates and say we click Add New Template. There, this template for Archive. And then I'm going to go with this one and for a pop-up it's going to be better because we have a number of columns in here and it is not in a list. So the user can see more of them at once and they're going to look a lot more compact in a pop-up. So here in the archive template you're going to see only one product and here you're going to customize its look. Uh, this is just a, one of the items you're going to have in a grid or in your list depending on what type of marketing template you choose. And then let's go to settings. And here in the template settings, if you wish you can set custom column count, like if you want to display your products in a grid with three or four or five columns, you can go with that. You just have to enable this option and set the custom column count in here. And the custom columns gather. So these are the settings. I'm not going to change anything in here. I'm sure that four of them are going to fit there. But if you feel like you need fewer columns, you can easily do it here. So that's pretty much that for the archive template and let's click publish. Then once you're done with your template, let's go to WooCommerce settings and apply this template to our related products real quick. As you know, related products are the products that have some tags in common. So the products that have common tags are gonna be related. So they're gonna appear in the related products list for a certain product. So here in the WooBuilder tab in the WooCommerce tab in here, what we need to do is to enable custom products archive here in the product archive template, we choose the one that we need for our related products. And here, if you wish, you can set uh, the number of products that you want to show in your grid. So save changes. Now we're going to proceed to creating the pop-up itself. Let's go to Jet Pop-up. And here, what you can do is you can either start creating a new pop-up from scratch, like it's going to take you to the editor here right away, right after you give it a name. The other option is to import a pop-up from the external file. And here it also allows you to select the layout right from here. You can also do it later in the Elementor editor, of course, but here it allows you to select it right away. And another option is to go to pop-up library where you can access the pre-designed templates that you can right away import in your Elementor editor and change their design and the elements to your liking. And I guess we're gonna go with this one. You simply click add, click yes, and it takes you to the Elementor editor where you can change its design totally. But the thing is that you start working with the pre-designed template right away. So you see what I did there? I just removed the elements that I didn't need 
and I inserted my own text. What else I want to do is to go and make this pop up a little bigger. And let's go to settings. And here we have two tab settings and style. Go to style, the pop up container. We have the width for this template. Say I want to make it that wide, like like that so our four column layout is going to fit in there and then what we need to do is to grab the text editor like paste it in there remove all the text and there goes the square brackets and we type in related underscore products and what's that gonna do is insert that archive template with your related products in this pop-up and the products in this grid are going to change dynamically. So I guess that's it for the design and uh, that's the time to proceed to the display settings. But first, let's go to settings. It's here in the cogwheel icon, under this cogwheel icon, where you choose the animation for your pop-up. So how it is going to appear and the open event. So we've got a bunch of those and let's choose try exit. So once the user moves their mouse outside of the page, like there in the address bar or try to move on to another tab in the browser, so this pop-up is going to appear. And there are more settings. If you want it to only appear once, um, you can enable this option. And we're going to go to display settings. Here you click on this display button and here is where you can set the conditions, the opening conditions for this specific pop-up template. So you click add condition and the great thing you're going to do here is that you can add multiple conditions. Like you can proceed and create a series of those and for each you can choose either include or exclude. So let me show you how this works. So in our case, we've got products. And what we're gonna do here is to, we're gonna choose include, then go to singular, host type, and the products. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna display this specific pop-up on the product pages, on the all of the products of the products post type, right? But, Say we're working with a post type where we've got a lot of posts uh, and they go under certain categories with certain tags and we really want to display this pop-up on the post of the, say, like post, post type, the default one, but we really don't want to see this pop-up on some posts of this post type like posts from certain category or posts from certain tags or posts you know based on some hierarchy etc like if you choose posts from category and then you pick the category like colors and this pop-up is not gonna appear on the posts that go with the category colors if you set it to exclude so you see how this works if you choose include, the pop-up is going to appear on the set pages or posts. And if you choose exclude, the pop-up is not going to appear on the posts or pages that you set. Right? So now let's go back to our specific case. So let's set products and click save. So now we have set it. So this little notification says that our progress has been saved. Don't be worried that here in the pop-up editor you do not see any related products appearing because as you know, this grid with your related products is going to appear based on the tags that your products have in common. And as we really haven't applied this pop-up to any specific product yet, we're not going to see any related products because, you know, there is nothing to relate to, you know, there is nothing to display. And 
what we need to do is just publish this pop-up template and just jump to any product page and see how this pop-up is working. So here we are on the product page and now all we need to do to trigger the appearance of this pop-up is to move the mouse outside of the page like say up on the address bar. And there we go, here are our related products appearing. You see they're in the four column grid and they have the same tag, at least one of the tags in common with the product we're currently viewing. So this one has worked and now it's time to proceed our second use case where we're gonna have a look at how you display some dynamic content in your pop-ups. So now, as you know, to work with dynamic content, the plugin you need is Jet Engine plugin for Elementor. Here it goes. And I decided that I'm gonna be putting some gallery in a pop-up. So what I need to do here is to click on Jet Engine label to access the general settings. And what do I need is a models manager. So if you want to work with the gallery, what you need to do is to check these two boxes. Grid gallery for dynamic field widget and slider gallery for dynamic field widget. If you want to enable this functionality for your jet engine plugin. Now, what you do is you go to matter boxes. If you want to create a matter box for multiple post types, or if you want to create a matter box for an already existing post type, or you go to post types and you create one from scratch and you assign a matter box in there with some specific matter fields for this specific post type. I have already created a matter box for the default post type beforehand. And let me just quickly show you what's in there. So as you see, it's extremely simple. We've got the matter box for posts. And what it's got is the title name and the type set to gallery. All right, that's it you need. Then in the post, post type, you select the post that you want to add it, that you want to add a gallery to. Like here, I just chose the images that I want to show for this specific post type. Now let's go to chat pop-up. And as I've said, you can go with any of these options or as I do, you can use the library and say, let's go with this one this time. So what I did there is I again changed some of the elements that I didn't need anymore and I put my own in there. And for now, to apply some dynamic content, we need some jet engine widgets. And those are these um, that have the dynamic word in them. So they allow you to work with dynamic content. And I need dynamic field to display some data from the meta fields. So in the source, which is metadata, and here we're typing the name of the meta field. I know our case it was gallery. Now to display the images from the gallery, we need to filter field output. We need to enable filter field output option and in the callback, it's going to be images gallery grid. So here I select the number of columns, the size of the images and whether or not you want to use a light box. Now in the style, in order to customize the look of your gallery grid, you go to miscellaneous and you see that you can increase the images gap. You can set the image overlay, the hover overlay color and the icon color for the light box. And what else I want to do is to add some margin. Okay, this should work now, except one little thing. What we need to set is the opening conditions and display settings. So on the open event, let's choose try exit again. In the display settings, click add condition, include singular post type and here post. Like then we click save. 
and we publish this pop-up template. And what we do now is we go to the post that we added our dynamic gallery to and we try to exit the page. And once we do, we see our gallery appearing right away. And these are those exact images that we set in the dynamic gallery in that matter field for this specific post. And this is how it works with the dynamic content. So now you know how to work with the opening conditions for pop-up templates that you create with Jet pop-up plugin for Elementor. I hope this video was useful. Thank you so much for watching.